Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Sargent number 68-1180 tube support. And a tube support is an item used in their exit device assemblies, and it occurs in the parts manual several times, several dozen times, in fact. And let's just do a visual review of the item. A little bit of dimensional review. This client bought six. They're sold as each. A little bit of dimensional review. Here's our tube support. Kind of looks like a vertical rod, a surface vertical rod guide a little bit. Let's take some dimensions. Overall width, about an inch and three quarter. Overall height, well, let's see, about half of an inch. And then a projection dimension. Looks like we're right at about 13 sixteenths. Now let's switch to the, uh, uh, the screen view where we can take a look at some supporting documentation when it comes to this tube support. Okay, and this is the item that we're looking at. And here's the link to the manufacturer's page here. So let's click on that, pull that page up, and let's search for parts. I know we have a parts manual. Sergeant Parts List Master Index. So let's pull up that pretty epic document that's there. Okay, so we've got that document pulled up. Um, 4,500 pages. Control F and then search for the 68-1180. And then it will cycle through the entire document and return the results. Continuing to search that document. 20, 30 results so far. Anyway, um, 68-1180, the first time it shows up is for these variants of the 12-NP device. You can see it right here, part number 11 from the parts index, tube support, part number 11. As we cycle through all of the matches for the NB53 or the 53 NB, it's part number four, and you can see just exactly where it's coming into play. And on and on and on. So this is a very common item used in a variety of um, a variety of these different exit devices is the bottom line. Okay, so that's where you'll be able to find not only a reference to the item itself, but other products that you might require when it comes to servicing your exit device. And it's really great that Sargent makes this information available to us because it allows you to continue to get serviceable uh, performance out of the significant investment in exit device hardware. Back to the manufacturer's page. From here, this is the page, the repository page of all things Sargent related. Not only all of the Sargent products that we sell as you scroll down through, but a link to the manufacturer's website, a link to the manufacturer's catalog, then several encyclopedic documents, such as that parts master list that we talked about earlier. Um, there's an 80 series 2019 parts manual. And that's going to be uh, very likely a more appropriate document because it just allows us to focus on those exit devices. Okay, and it only comes up a couple of times in that exit in that um, in this document. Okay, so a bit more for focused view. Back to the manufacturer's page. What's interesting about that is if you wanted to see what Sargent was doing in the year 1888, you can fire up that catalog. And while it's an epically huge document, and after we get that catalog loaded, 
that 1400 plus page sergeant catalog um, it is really you know as an aside it's really nice to go back in time to be able to see what was manufactured what was available um, from a research perspective of loan I I call on these old documents often uh, when I'm looking for you know clarity as to what was once manufactured um, and this period this very late 19th century was a very revolutionary time in lock sets because you see these what you might call skeleton keys I'd call them that too that's actually called a bit key is what its proper term is it's a bit key and at this time bit keys were in absolute um, I, I would have to say decline I know they existed and obviously still do today they existed till the 1920s for sure but at the same time you would have pin tumbler construction modern cylinder construction available um, certainly at this same time now I don't see a pin tumbler a pin tumbler cylinder from sergeant in this same catalog there very likely is but these are all bit keys the disadvantage of a bit key is that it didn't allow a lot of flexibility in terms of the quantity of different keys that could operate it um, master keying was really not I believe uh, pushed hard until the very early 20th century because the technology existed that would permit you to have a tremendous theoretical quantity of keys cut keys available that bit keys would not allow so I didn't see any pin tumbler cylinders by sergeant back then and I highly doubt we're gonna find any uh, exit device hardware but what you'll certainly find are inspirational examples of hardware that we take for granted every day you wouldn't get these ugly looking hinges that we have now you'd get these beautifully cast pieces of equipment so my amorous feelings aside for historical hardware um, the one takeaway from much of this is how little things have changed you know strap hinges are still strap hinges right um, trap door hinges uh, you know we don't sell those but they do exist somewhere these different types of catches these shutter catches all of this exists latch um, this would be a gate hardware obviously is what it is more gate hardware catalog is so large that it's very unwieldy to handle code hooks pulleys Lufkin rule company Lufkin a company that still manufactures uh, rules and tape measures and things of that nature very interesting let's finish up this video on camera now in conclusion uh, we've talked about this tube support where it's used how to find additional information on it and then additional information in general um, I am very partial to sergeant uh, because there's certainly their long heritage their long lineage of hardware makes them very well positioned when it comes to having a set of solutions for problems that I would I'll stop short of saying that sergeant is unique but when it comes to depth and variety of solutions in mortise locks in exit devices and on and on and on they are a company that is a force to be reckoned with with a hundred you know 50 probably a hundred and eighty no let's stop short there could be uh, maybe 170 years of lineage behind them a lot of these companies in New England like the sergeants the Corbins the Yales of the world all were mid 19th century creations um, and many of them still many of them don't of course the majority don't but some of them still exist today 
Uh, Sargent is under the umbrella of Asa Abloy, who is a multinational, multi-billion dollar endeavor. And they have reached into many uh, uh, related and dissimilar product lines. When it comes to Sargent, her sister companies would be Yale, Corbin Ruswin, Medico, when you talk about lock sets, but also Asa, a high security cylinder platform, Abloy, a high security cylinder platform, uh, you know, door manufa manufacturers of, of doors under that umbrella, uh, trim and auxiliary hardware, weather stripping, uh, et cetera. Their technical support is uh, exceptional, uh, patently exceptional. When I call there, sometimes the person has to put me on hold to get the answer, but they get the answer. Actually, I communicated with technical support yesterday. During the chat, I, live, live chat, I found the answer that I needed, said thank you, and terminated the conversation. That's That technical rep then sent me an email 10 minutes later saying, okay, hold on, here's all of the information. And because of that, going above and beyond, makes me realize, you know, you're considering a small or large purchase of locks for a commercial application. I would definitely toss Sargent into the mix um, you know, you can anyone can buy a mortise lock, but can you get technical support a decade later? Sargent does that. Any questions on the 68-1180 tube support or any other Sargent product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.